Well, good morning. You guys out in the warm sun? Yeah. That's a good spot, Millie. You didn't have to get up, Tilly. You was over there helping keeping her warm. We got a goofball in the yard. Two more goofballs over there. Now, who do we got here? Got a goofball in her bed that she tore all the stuffing out of and a piece of foam. Yeah. Good morning. Welcome to the channel. I'm just out here assessing any damage. We had some massive winds last night, as you can see. That foam blew off, I believe, this table. And it's now over there. I don't see anything else. Let's go out back here. This is usually where everything ends up back here. All right. Gosh, Waldo, I'm making a movie. You know about that. All right. If you guys are new to the channel, or you've been on my channel a while, you'll remember. Well, if you're new, you won't remember. I'll put a card up. When I built this fire pit out of these blocks, and I'll bet there's three or four videos of me moving these blocks. And I thought this would be a good fire pit. Nope. As you can see, they cracked. So I'm going to salvage what I can. And then I'm going to take the old fire pit rocks. And I'll probably have to go get some more. And I'm going to rebuild the fire pit here. I need to get some burning done badly. But the problem is here in Arkansas, the wind never quits, man. But it's supposed to be about seven degrees or seven miles an hour today. So that I can handle. But I don't believe it. So I'm not going to make the fires too huge. So we're going to start off with this fire pit. As you can see, all this brush I cut down now is ready to burn. Uh, if it was wetter, I'd just light it right there. Look at all these milk jugs that blew back here. Yeah, I got a few big rocks there. But this fire pit's okay. Uh, I'll go ahead and fire it up and just feed it slowly. And then, uh, but we're going to rebuild this fire pit today. Uh, I really can't do the plumbing in the dog apartment. The PEX is too cold. It's not going to get warm enough today to warm it up. Working with that stuff cold is a nightmare. But I've got all this stuff that could be get, getting burned getting tidied up I've got my helper ready she's really the only one willing to help the rest of them they don't like work but Miss Tilly will won't you Tilly alright man uh, I don't know where to move them to what to do with them maybe something to do with the garden I don't know alright man let me get to it alright I got a pretty good idea what to do with these things. Yeah. I'll take you over there after I get most of them over there and we'll do it together. A lot of these are cracked but they're still good. What I'm going to use them for doesn't matter. What's with everybody working with blocks lately? Bricks and blocks. I don't need the cement mine. All right, let me get these where they need to be. And I'll show you what we're doing. Okay, got them all over here. There used to be 56 of them. I think about four or five of them broke. So the original thought was to build a garden uh, box out of them. But then it dawned on me. 
as I've said, I'm going to be building also a little outside, I wouldn't call it a patio, just a little sitting area uh, in here. How about, as you can see, look at the color of those blocks. Yeah, that's mom's dirty. And then look at the color of the cabin. It's in a match. So I'm thinking building a retaining wall. It's however many I can get and it maybe go about three high, stagger it down to one high. Because this is on a slope. I don't know if I can get down here and show you. This is on a pretty good slope. So really only the useful part will be till you know about here anyway so i'm thinking flatten some of this out start building a retaining wall with them and use them stones to fill inside those bricks or them blocks it ain't going nowhere no cement needed none needed i think that would look good i can make it look good because this thing kind of i've got those uh, posts over there that are going to go in the ground. I'll come up with some sort of a fence But it's uh, more, more than likely going to end right here And go the length of the screen patio And I might add by the way, I bet we had 40 50 50 mile an hour winds last night This stuff did not budge So if it didn't go last night, it's never gonna go so that that worked so but right now I'm going to go start throwing them rocks back around this fire pit. Now, wind's starting to pick up. I don't trust it. We're just going to see where it gets. Uh, I'm going to have to call some water out here just in case I have to put it out. But it's pretty wet out because we've had quite a bit of rain, so I'm not real worried about that. But yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do with these. I'm tired of moving them. Put them in a wall. I'm never going to move them again. I think that would be cool. The only thing I worry about is we do have plans to get this tree out of here. So uh, I may want to may want to start it. Actually, it won't be in the way. We can put the tree. I'll have to move some pots in the garden. We can put the tree down. Actually, we can put the tree straight there. Uh, that's what it'll be. Especially after last night, I'm like, I got to get rid of all the trees around me. That one I can take down. I can take these down myself. That's not very big. It's not much of a threat right now, but it will be later. And this one's a threat now. It's big. So is it coming down? I can drop that real easy right through there. All right, let's get on going on this fire pit again. Would you like to say hello, boy? You're over here whining. Yeah. I don't know if they like you. I don't know. I don't know. Now he's a good boy. You got junk all over your head. Junk all over your head. Look at this goofball. That's the next thing needs to go is that old dilapidated excuse for a poor dog house. Lily, what are you gonna do with you? Alright, I should already have a pretty good wine there. Get this crap out of my way for now. Pretty, pretty round line from those bricks. I only burnt one fire in them bricks. Pathetic. Get off the mouth, yuck! I'm gonna do I'm gonna get some of the biggest rocks and put them around the bottom after I'm done laying the rocks I'm gonna go get a couple barrels full of those driveway rocks and lay around it these fires like to jump out and burn the grass around it I don't want that happening These rocks don't, uh, I am not looking forward to lifting all these rocks. I can tell you that now. 
Back already hurts looking at them. Uh, I may go a little bigger. I'm going to go on the outside of where them bricks were. That way I'm not fighting all that junk. Oh, Lord have mercy. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, something like that. I know these are the rocks I picked out of there before. <laughs> oh, look at this dude. Use your back, bunk notcher. And you're probably saying, no, yeah, you don't, don't lift rocks, you'll hurt your back. Man, I have lifted thousands of these rocks. How do you think these trails got built? And I've went through many a back aches. It has to be done, man. It has to be done. Just gotta do it smart. See this nice flat surface? That's kind of like. It doesn't hurt to have little holes in between. That helps feed air. Alright. Next. <laughs> One that won't be too good. And this ain't one of them city people fire pits that want purdy. I want useful. I don't want purdy. If it works, that's all. That's good enough for me. Ain't no city people fire pit here. Yeah, this sandstone's not very strong. In fact, we'll just fill this in somewhere else. I'll purdy it up later. Alright. I'm gonna put y'all on uh, time lapse so I can take my time. That's what time lapse is for. Not to speed things up so I can take my time. It's that simple. It ain't got to be gorgeous. It's just got to be useful. And I kind of took the rocks that had the natural curve, used them where I could. Now I'm going to start bringing some gravel over here, and I'm going to come probably come out three or four inch, or uh, maybe two feet all the way around. I have never done that, but now I have the rocks that are perfect for that. And. Some of these aren't the biggest, but you need a, a low spot to feed the fire or do whatever you don't want it. That's as high as you need it, man. That's as high as I've ever needed it. And the thing is here, you get such a rare opportunity to burn. When you do burn, you ain't got to worry about it because there ain't no wind. Now the wind's picking up already. So I highly doubt I'll be burning today. Uh, you don't really start burning until best time to burn is about 6 7 p.m or very early in the morning because winds will start coming in around noon here and uh well you guys ain't i'm not even scaring you guys from that feeder am i so anyway i'm gonna 
sit down for a few minutes, rest my back, and then I'm gonna start hauling some of that gravel in. That will not be fun. That stuff's hard to shovel. All right, man, let me get busy. cannot own a muffler because they ain't none of body got them none of body none of body got them a lot of dirt in this rock very big very hard to shovel these pants in the spring way too small now they're loose I like it man. for a wimp. That's a wimpy load right there. Jeff says it. Raccoon. Ugh. Now y'all smell what I'm dealing here, what I'm doing. That's right, a buffer. Whew. Let's see, one, two, three, about six more loads, man. If you can't do do, 
I want good water. Yes, this rake is being held together with packing tape. But you use it till you can't use it no more. So I'm spreading this out. All three or four inches thick. About two feet out. Getting up against these rocks. Trying to help hold them in. And fill in the gaps. And that's all you need, man. Don't need a bunch of fancy paver blocks. All that bull butter in it. This is all a fire pit needs to be. I can get it if you're in a city in a backyard and you want stuff to look nice. But for out here like this, it's all you need. And this is all ever anybody really has. And a big one so you can get rid of a lot of stuff at once all right so i'm gonna need about four more loads of rock i did i don't know did i wake up and say hey let's play with rock today <sighs> but some people would say boy these rocks gotta be a hassle they can be but they're also a good resource to have I mean, you could build stuff with them. I made trails with them. Fire pits, you know. It's endless what you can do with rocks. And yeah, it's, it's a challenge, but I'd rather have rocks than have to haul them in. That's for sure. All right, let me go get a few more loads. We're gonna wrap this up. If the wind stays where it's at, I may pull some of the, that's way too much on there. That'd be a massive 20 foot high fire. I don't want that. So I'll probably pull a lot of that off, get it started, just feed it a little bit at a time. I tried to start that one earlier. Didn't want to start, but I didn't try too hard. All right. be the last load you want to work out load about seven gorilla carts full of rock uh. Times this stuff will compact like cement. Who did on the driveway? All right, it's got that mud mixed in there with it. Alright, 
what I'm trying to do, you know, I got tons of projects outdoors, a lot of them. So I take advantage of the days when I got the nice weather like today. We ain't going to get past 50, but just perfect working weather. Uh, I can work in, inside in a cabin anytime. So on days like this, I need to get out here because I only have so many months I can get this stuff done until summer comes. And then once that comes, as you know, you can't do anything out here. At least I can't. So there's a lot on the list. Uh, let me show you the fire pit, man. It's, it's all we need. I've got two foot of gravel, thick gravel, all the way around it. That's going to prevent any embers that, you know, in the immediate area that jump out. It's going to keep any grass from, that grows here from spreading out. Uh, the nice thing about all these trails I have is if, if there is a fire, it never goes past these rock trails. When we had that big fire in 2015, it ended at these trails. So after I've seen that, I've put trails everywhere. You know, it's a nice fire break. And you've seen on my walking videos, wow. Guys, if you, if you don't think I'm walking, look at this path I beat down. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty obvious. There's a lot of laps on that. And I'll tell you what, man, we're having a weird season. Uh, this stuff should all be gone. And what happens, we got all that rain after a long period of dry weather. And now these leaves are really turning some vibrant colors. But it's almost 1st of December. These should all be gone by now. But they're not. And like these oak trees, these leaves hang on there forever. Some oak, Sometimes they're on there in the spring when they're coming out. But look straight ahead there. Look at all the colors. But usually, well... Year round here it's green because most of those trees up there are pines and mostly cedar. So we always have green. I believe this privet stays green all year. Not that I like that stuff. That stuff's a pain. But it's nice we still get some color. Yeah, but boy, I beat these <laughs> beat these trails down. That's cool. Alright guys, I think that's what I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a few more things. and uh, That's my big task for the day and it's done. I'll still be thinking on what I want to do with these blocks. I'm so tired of moving them things. I need to get them into some kind of a permanent structure. I think it would look cool as a retaining wall back there. Uh, I don't know. Y'all think that's a good idea? Let me know down in the comments. And, uh, I'm going to do it. And yeah. I need to get that in front of the dog apartment. I need to get that cemented and sloped down, but it's just, it's too cool. You can't lay cement when it's going down in the freezing, close to freezing, and it just don't set up in the 40s or 50s as good as it would when it's a little warmer. So I may have to wait on that. I think I have an idea temporarily to slow that down. I don't know. All right, guys, I will see you next month. Happy trails. What are you doing? Do you know how much trouble weighs? Huh? It weighs 40 pounds. You know how much you weigh? Yeah, 40 pounds. Do you know how much Silly weighs? Well, it also weighs 40 pounds. Yeah, so Trouble and Silly. They weigh 40 pounds. Not 35, not 45, 40 pounds. That's what it weighs. <laughs> and Goofy. Goofy also weighs 45 pounds, or 40 pounds, yeah. It's prime puppy dog nap time. Tilly loves to lay by trees or stumps. Out there we got a silly Millie and my flagpole that's down because the string rotted. So I got to get some new string. We've got a goofy rooster in the yard and a Waldo and a Lily. They keep me busy, man. I ain't gonna kid you there. <laughs>